Damn, yo, Yuli, this is episode 50, bro. That's Damn. it, man. Episode 50. Yo, man, episode 50, Poppy. 50, 50 weeks I in a row. I remember you guys started just the other day. Shit. Sporting touch of hands. Round number one. There's that fast start. I'm a new born in the Bronx, raising data. Been in the city since Pit had braids. But hop on the parties, but I know how to sneak me out. Now it's seven figure meetings every day. We need a house. It's game time, the game's mine. You know the vibe. Yo, yeah, how a moon and that'll rep in 305. Hey, hey, listen, we practiced this shit 10 times before you got in here. And I knew I was gonna fuck it up. No, no, I get nervous when people around. I'm trying to rap. I don't rap, bro. Yeah, but hey, it was listen, good man. Welcome, everybody, to Don't Blink episode 50 in yes. the building, man. You know, I got the kid in the building. Oh, always. you know we in here. And today we got the real undisputed <laughs> 155 pound champion of bare knuckle. Yes. Luis Palomino, my brother, baboon in the building, man. Thank wow. you so much for being here, my brother. Oh, thank you for having me. On the special hey. number two, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, amazing number, man. Hey, this man has not lost a fight in bare knuckle. Um He's a four-time ch- world champion right now, Bernardo. Yeah, and and uh, and how many championships did you win in MMA? Also, about eight, three or four. Four, four, four times. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about eight, eight-time world champion. Eight-time and world, world champion, champion Bernardo, baby. Damn. And, and this ain't no little kids game, bro. That Bernardo game is a whole different thing, no, bro. Hell yeah, <laughs> you should know. Hell yeah, yo. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> damn, you <laughs> hey man, hey, thank you so much for joining us, my brother, yeah, man. Great you, to man. have you here. Awesome. Hell yeah, my brother. Um, how's life been treating you, man? Man. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, life is tricky, man. Up, yeah. up and downs, and up, down, and all right around. You, yep. Right when you think that you're gonna be just riding a nice wave going forward, That's going right. up, eh, boom, you That's get right. splashed and smacked. That's right. And uh, just, just the same old life, up and downs, man. Different, yeah. t- different situation, different scenario. Yeah, absolutely. You know, same survival mentality. You know, we got to get over this moment. You know, and keep it. pushing through, and, and you see that gold on the table, yeah. so you know we've been putting in that work. <laughs> That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah. but W's. Listen, it ain't easy to get that gold, and then it gets harder to hold that gold mm-hmm. down. So, so, nothing but props to you, my brother. Thank you. Hell yeah, my brother. So, uh, we like to highlight our guests and let people know, you know, uh, where you came from, and uh, all the way to where you, you know how you got to where you at today, and you know, and a little bit of the struggles in between to let people know that yo, we all struggle, dog. It ain't yeah. it ain't easy for none of us. You yeah. know what I mean? And and I, we we wake up and put a smile on our face to push through, but yeah. sometimes it ain't, it ain't easy, bro. Nah, it ain't. So I know your story started in uh, in Peru. Peru. Yes. In Peru. Yeah. So right there is already the first struggle. Yeah. <laughs> the last Inca. The last Inca. Yeah, that's it, I, love, I, love yeah. that. I love that. Tell hey. us a, tell us a little bit about that, yeah, man. Yeah, my brother. Oh, um Peru, man, as far as I can remember. Uh, How old were you when you when you when you left there? I left at ten. Okay, so you got oh, a good memory. Yeah, I left a at 10. memory. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. good memories from all of them, man. Um I mean the last things I can remember, to be very honest, is studying to come over here. Wow. I had nice. to literally study somebody else's identity. Oh, really? That's how I came here. Oh, oh wow. that's what it was. I'm over here thinking. Are we allowed to put this on air? No, but yeah, I mean that's that's the truth. And as a matter of fact, that's one of the cases that I had with immigration because yeah. I just got my green card. Oh, it's no yeah. shit. Like a after of, fucking almost thirty years after here, thirty one years <laughs> here. So imagine that, right? Shit. But um, yeah, one of the one of the cases that we did, we were going along the truth. Which was the way that we came here, right. which photo switch passport, I had to learn uh, Mexican Americans whole life, you know, yeah, uh, like the history of Mexico and America, because yeah. you know half and half, right, and uh, like I studied for like six months no to shit. step into an airport in California, LAX. Or they didn't ask me one question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. They didn't ask me one question. <laughs> you know, so you had all this in your mind, you had to spit it out, yeah. nothing happened. <laughs> you have to, better be prepared, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Absolutely. But they didn't ask me one question, went right through, and that was the beginning of me, man. I came over here about to turn 11. So you, you touched down in California first? From, Cali from first. Peru. That's where the whole fighting started. Okay. You know, um, boxing. Okay. So in, in Cali, uh, my La, older, Los Angeles? No, San Bernardino. Okay. Yeah, San Bernardino, yeah. And uh, we lived in the city of Chino, okay. which, you know, you always hear Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The city of Chino. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was from Chino Boxing Club. Okay, nice. So that boxing club, it was um, my brother that was getting taken over there. My older brother. My older brother's like, Diesel. Not like you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he has all the genes like that, you know? Since he was 14 years old, he looked like that. Yeah. And also my, my dad was like, you know, let's, let's go to a boxing gym. And I'm a little scrawny... You know, the little scrawny <laughs> yeah. kid in the, in the family. You were like me. 
let's go. My brother boxed for like about less than two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And he let it go. No, it wasn't his thing, man. Yeah. yeah. No, it just wasn't his thing. Like, is, isn't he, is your brother in jiu-jitsu right now, no? Is no, he, no, that's my other brother. Okay, that's, that's your my other brother. Okay. oldest brother okay. is Paco. Okay. okay. Paco loves jiu-jitsu. Yeah. yeah he's a uh, brown belt, I think, okay. I think he is. Nice. And um, Pedro, the one that I'm talking about, is the one right after me. So I have three older brothers. Okay. So it's me, Pedro, Richard, Paco. Okay. So Pedro's like is weird as shit because Pedro's like the second brother, right? But he's the strongest and biggest out of all of us. He's a little monster. He got the real wink up there. He's yeah. 14 years old. Well, my mom's uh, side of the family is from Mongolia, Africa. Oh, yeah. Oh, so man. I have those genes too, you know what I mean? So like my great-grandfather is a, a African slave from oh, no Angola. Shit. My great great grandfather, huh? And my great grandmother is from Spain. Damn, how, how do you know? Did you do your 23 and me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my mom awesome, knows the whole history. It's amazing to have yeah, that. That was, that was just yeah. her side. Then they migrated to Peru and they met in Peru. And then that's they had so mom, badass to know that, bro. And then my father and all that, you know. But, uh, wow. So yeah, he, so the he, jeans he, are in there. I, yeah. I didn't get none of those fucking jeans. Yeah. Yeah. None of those jeans. I was skinny and shit. Yo, but you it, savage, it, was, though, bro. I was skinny, funny, too, because I was like a little, like, fluffy. Yeah, like I didn't have no muscle tracks. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like, like me. It's not like me because <laughs> right now I, was, I, was I lift my shirt looking. right now. You got the ass. I'm <laughs> I, I, I look, I look yeah. a little more like one of them little aliens from uh, what do you call that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Will Smith. Uh, what's that movie called? Well, uh, the well, alien movie Will Smith. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, Ben and Black. Ben, ben and Black. Black. Oh, Ben and Black. <laughs> <laughs> little alien drinking coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. One straight thing. Like there's no bicep from bicep, no oh, quad shit. definition, yeah, no yeah, nothing. Yeah. You know, and it, was, it was the weirdest body yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. So I had to like bust my ass to change my body, man. I didn't start lifting to the age of twenty two. Oh shit! Oh, damn. Oh, shit. And I started lifting weights. I did capoeira before that, you know. Right. But back backwards, you know, rewind. Uh, I started up with boxing in California at eleven. I did it about three years. And I did, you know, no amateur fights and a couple of tournaments. And when I was getting ready for like another tournament, I was gonna fly out for the first time out of the state. I was excited. You know? Oh, and my dad went to prison. Oh no, oh, shit. shit! In California? In California? Damn! Yeah. Fucked it all up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we lived good. Right? Yeah, right, 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 we lived right, good. Right. We lived really good, you know. And and to the way that he brought us over here, it took a while, man. It right. was it wasn't easy, you yeah. know. Like, first, he brought my mom and my sisters through the border. They had to jump. Oh no shit! You know what I mean? Real yeah. fucking coyote yeah, style. To like, yeah. yeah, straight up, pick her up on the other side, and then you know the man. He, my my dad was like kind of like DEA, okay, in Peru. Okay, so imagine, think about it like this, right? Put it like this: like, say you're you're a, you're a DEA officer, right? Mm -hmm. And you're getting ready to do a bust, like a big one, and we're talking about in a time where like uh, terrorism was big in Peru. Like you couldn't be around loose and kick a soccer ball, you blow up. You know, no shit. It was oh, bad. Shit. Oh, shit. Sendero Luminoso, like back in those days, back, back, back. Where, where was that coming from? Where was that? That, that was uh, in Peru, bro. Yeah, yeah it was just Peru. Yeah, it was conflict. just bad, man. It was just bad. Oh, it was bad. Terrorism. It was terrorist. Yeah. You know, terrorist. Yeah. But um, somebody from family gave him a warning and said, hey, look, you about to go. And your family going to go with you. So get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, so you better go for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. No choice but to leave the country by himself right. and, you know, work. And use this knowledge the other way around. Right, what else right, are you going to do? Right. You have no English. You have no papers. You know, you have your whole entire family in Peru. So he brought my mom and my two sisters through the border. A year later is when he paid like 10, 10 k. I think it was. Oh shit! Back then it's a lot of money back too. Then, yeah, for sure. It money. still is, but back then it's a lot more. Yeah, a lot more. Right. So and you, pff, ten k thirty one years ago. You know, like yeah, yeah. 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 just yeah. just to bring me over with a photo switch passport, different identity. Yeah, you know, and then came the same way my older brother Pedro. And then my brother Richard, and they went to prison before we can bring my brother Paco. Oh, shit. That's what you were talking about. Damn. So so Paco stayed over there for a while? Is he, Paco is stayed he, for a while. My yeah. mom ended up sending her house years later to bring him. Wow, man. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. What that's family. So family. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, that's tough. Yo, so you was learning the, the whole identity thing while you was like nine? I was, I was like 10, ten years old. I was like, shit. My name is Fernando. I don't know what the fuck. I was yeah, born yeah, in yeah, like, yeah, I, had yeah. to, I, like, I had the whole shit down packed. Yeah, that's yeah. what people do now in Miami to get married for papers and shit. You know? <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did very, have very some lady t offer me like twenty five thousand yeah, or something. Yeah, I was yeah. like, what? That's Mi Miami shit, co uh, capital of fraud, baby. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I did oh, it. Yes. Um, uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, let, so you were, so you started boxing, Cali, boxing, and, Cali. Uh, so, before you took that trip for the tournament, oh, your dad went to prison. My you were dad saying, goes to prison. Right, so right. now we're talking about a, a single mother, right. no papers, no English, no like, family members to help. And what, like five kids? Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like that's. 
Yeah, it's tough. Uh, that's why huge. people have, in all interviews like, where you get you know your strength from, and where you get your mom, mom man. dukes, baby, so mom. Yeah, Shout out to mom. Yeah. I've met mom before. Mom, <laughs> big yeah. queen out there, man. Yeah, man. I've never seen like you know somebody like a woman, you know, especially Miami. You know how Miami can be. You know, but to to do what she did in the time that she did it, how she did it right. with zero help, that to me was the biggest motivator. Absolutely. Know? You know, so that time passed, and I couldn't find a boxing gym here. Oh, so, so when your dad went to prison, you guys moved to Miami. We had to move to Miami. Okay. My mom had nowhere to go. She was like, thinking, okay, I have this much money left. Right. Let and cost of living over there is higher than here. Is. Here yeah, is a lot yeah. cheaper, especially in that time. Yeah. yeah, we came over here and we lived in a in a hotel room. A one hotel room, all of us, Damn. for like a few months. Oh shit! Before we got a one bedroom apartment, and then we lived there for years. What what area did you live in first? Yeah, Miami Beach. Miami Beach, seven yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 But in, in that time that I arrived, there was a lot of gang popping up. Yeah, absolutely, a lot, like yeah. a lot, a lot. Mm-hmm. So from so this was like hold on, this is like the early nineties, early nineties, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right. bad. It was pretty bad, especially in the beach. Yeah, and, um, for sure. Yeah, man, because it was you know South Beach and the uh, and the syndicate and uh, this and that and yeah. the IMPs came through and pop up. I just name it. It was yeah. always you know. Yeah. And it just got worse and worse. Like if it was a fight. Next time it would be a shootout, right, or a stabbing, or you know whatever. Right. whatever. Right. right. So anyway, I mean, you know, you know about that story. Um, so for me to go to a boxing gym, I had to take like three buses to get to a boxing gym. Which one were you going to? I don't even remember. <laughs> that's, the <first laughs> one, that's the first one that I found. Yeah. yeah. And my mom wouldn't let me go because she's mm. seen how the streets were. Right. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. 11. You know, I'm turning 12. You know, and we just got here. You know, you're gonna take three buses to go where? Like, it yeah. never happened. Uh-uh. Yeah. So I was mad at the world, mad that I, you know they took my dad from right, me. You right, know, for sure. And I was just fighting every day, man. Just fighting, 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 like every single day, just yeah. fighting. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Would count the scars on his knuckles, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every single one has a little story. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, but um, and then uh, I got lucky with Capoeira. Oh, nice. Capoeira as well. I would say like how you always say boxing saved your life. Absolutely. Yeah. I would say that Capoeira did the same for me because they put, you they found put a, me in this route. And you found a spot on the beach for Capoeira? Yeah. A lot of Brazilians out there. How crazy mm. was that? And so when I when I first came to, to the beach, um, I had a friend of mine named Miki. And Miki shows me this video that I've been watching in California. Oh, shit. Because in Cali, I used to break dance. Right. I used to break dance. You know, skating rings, you know? I used to break dance. Okay, okay. okay. And... and, yeah. and, and um, in, in the skating rings and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I moved over here, and I used to box and break that. So then when I come over here, I couldn't box. So then, you know, Capoeira is like, think about it, it's like acrobatics. Yeah, and, it's, and, a, yeah it's, it's a little style, bit of both. In a, in, a, in, a, in a fight form, right? Right. So I was like, oh shit, it's kind of like the same thing, you know? So so I got into it, and this kid takes me to South Beach to meet Mr. Cesar, right. which is the head uh, striking coach for MMA Masters. Okay, I know that. Nice. Yeah, I know which that which was my very first MMA coach. Okay. Right? Oh, wow, damn. What a, what a, what a, what a way around the world. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. So we were in Capoeira. That's, a, that's how MMA, MMA Masters started way back then. Like, So Capoeira was uh, his group. He was a master of Capoeira. Nothing to do with MMA Zero. Right. And then in the building that he was teaching Capoeira, Right, um, this is years later. First, I started with this guy. That's where my name came from. Okay. So this That's this this is the logo of a group called Aboli Sound, meaning ab- abolition in English. Right. Aboli Sound in Portuguese means abolition. Right. So Master Delay. While well, when I went to go meet Master Cesar, Master Cesar was in uh, Thailand filming with Van Damme. Oh shit! Nice. The movie Damn. The Quest. Okay, dope. Right? It was a big movie. He was on the cover of it and mm-hmm. everything. Right? That's with awesome. Van Damme. And. Uh, and Delay, Mr. Delay was in charge of his gym, of his students. So I, st- I came in looking for Mr. Sessa, but I started training with Delay. So, you know, loyalty, you know. Like, I started Absolutely. with you, I'm going to stay with you. So Absolutely. six months later, like when Sessa comes back, he's like, look, you know, I know you came here looking for Sessa. He's coming back, you know, next month, but I'm going to start my own group called Abolisan. Mm. So I told him, no, and I, I, you know, I started with you, I'm going to continue with you, right. you know. And... We started. We started together a Bolivian song, which is now international, it's all over the place. Oh, it's, nice! It's That's awesome. All it's fucking Germany, nice. So Colombia, awesome. Costa Rica, Peru, Venezuela. Still Puerto doing Rico. Capoeira? Um, cap- the group, that yeah, yeah, group. Yeah, 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 spread out everywhere okay, world, awesome. worldwide. It got really big. That's awesome. You know? And I was named after the logo. 
You see the logos yeah, yeah, on the yeah. baboon. Yeah, yeah. They named me after the logo. Yeah. So that's where the name came from. Damn, that's what, from, from, from when from you... From Damn. So that was the, the first name stuck, baby. Yeah. Stuck. That's it. It was so unique. You know, that's like... Awesome. Baboon, like baboon. Yeah, baboon. That's it. <laughs> so I ran with it to MMA, too. Um, but look, years later, like, I felt like I, I wasn't learning, like, new. Right. New things, you know? And uh, is, is there belts in Cabo Era? Yeah, or? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was already an ins- I was already a professor. Right. So I had received my my belt as a professor, and I went to go and and I noticed you know long story short my first uh, master you call them masters you know my first master and I we had our differences mm-hmm. when I when I started teaching my own classes and starting my own group that's that's delay delay uh-huh. okay uh-huh. so I would come and visit with my students and by surprise and I like you know it was 25, 30 people just come to the gym you know. Yeah. And like I was, you know, t- trying to him to be proud of what I've done, you know. Right. And then he'll be teaching something new, but like keeping me away from it, you know. Like, I'm like uh, oh, hold up, <laughs> man. Hold up, man. Like, you know, it's just like it kind of felt funny, you know. But whatever. And I think it was part of it too was while I'm training with Delay, um, I look like Master Assessor playing in the circle, like the style. Right. You know, there's like when I train people, there are people that learn. By instruction, and there are people that are learned that learn by watching. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I'm I one call of those. it an optical learner. Right? I'm, like, I'm like that. Yeah. yeah. Like me too. Like yeah. if I see it enough, like I'll get it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, I guess because I was mimicking Master Assessor style, which was my style that I like more explosive, more aggressive. You know. Right. And and I'm training with this dude, but I don't look like him. <laughs> yeah. Like when I'm playing, you know, like the yeah. style is completely different. Yeah. So I think he was trying to get somebody better than me. Uh, you know? So I ended up like fighting everybody or whatever. I ended up leaving the group. And when I go to my success, I met him. He, was, he used to be the head security guard in Mangles. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I went over there and, and I go with my belt, you know, humble me. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. Take off my professor belt. Put it on the table. Tell him, like, you know, I renounce the belt. I want to start, you know, I want to train with you. Oh, shit, awesome. Which I looked for you like eight years ago, but I let, you know, I told him the story. So says, okay. So okay, he takes the belt. He's like, okay, just bring me your instructor belt when you when you come next week, and that's the belt under. You took that one from me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you <laughs> start fresh. Go, you you're not a professor because it's like an instructor, professor, right. contra master, master, right? right? So and it takes years to get those belts. Like you don't just Absolutely. it's not like karate. It takes years, you know. So I was like, I was like, ah, okay, no problem. So I came to class. I gave it to him. And there was this dude in energy. Energy ended up being one of my best friends, which was his head guy in the team. Okay. So what's going to happen? Oh, you got to put you against him. You know. Oh. You know? <laughs> so we, we bumped and, and, you know, I yeah. let the hand go. And in Capoeira, there's no, there's no punching. No punching. You know, also, you did something illegal. Yeah, right I got the little tools. But Messers said, love that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, MMA's not in the picture yet at this, at this time. No, right? man. Oh, this is okay. all Capoeira. We're talking okay. about 14, 15, 16. Okay. You know, I mean, they didn't come to, I didn't start training to fight until the age of 26. Oh, shit. I started oh, shit. late. I started at 26 thinking about training MMA. That's when I started doing jiu-jitsu to start, you know, and get into MMA. Let me, let me, I mean, let me ask you too, at, at this time, this is something I, I, I recently found out too. At this time, while you were, you know, at Gabora before MMA, you were a barber also, right? In the flea yes. market. Oh. I was a barber for like 13 years. At USA years. flea market. At the USA, USA flea? flea market. They were, right? I remember going over there. That was legit. the hot Man, spot in Miami, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, yo, so how you, they, 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 they like knocked it down not so long ago. Yeah, yeah just a little while ago. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. Historic, but historic. Bro, place, I used to hit mitts. Like, my first. Three or four professional MMA fights. Cesar, in that time, wasn't living in Miami. He right. would stay here three months, go to Brazil three months, okay. come back. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So some of the fights that I did in the beginning, I had no corner. Like it, My oh, corner shit. was like my, my, training, <laughs> oh, my training partners. <laughs> yeah. From Damn. jiu-jitsu class. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, and I'm fighting at 170. Oh shit! <laughs> what? Like, I'm fighting at 170. So what? You're fighting at your walk around weight, basically. Oh, yeah. Not Bro, even your gaining weight. weight. I was like 165. <laughs> I wasn't even hitting the whole 170. And um, yeah, man, it, it was just weird because the first guy that I fought was similar to me. It wasn't not much of a size difference. And knocked him out in a minute 43 seconds. Nice. In the first fight, and the second fight was 25 seconds. He was big. But the third fight was Jeremy Stevens, Jeremy May, which was 
He ended up going to the Ultimate Fighter house at 185. He was oh, six shit. foot three. Damn. Big as shit. And I, and I look at this dude and I'm like, Man, he looks bigger than yesterday, man. You know? <laughs> like, he was big. He was tall. He was thick all the way down. But, you know, in the wings, I saw him with a sauna suit running back and forth. And I'm like, what the hell is this dude doing, you know? I had no idea about weight cutting. Right. No idea whatsoever. I didn't know about weight classes. I just knew that if I wasn't going to fight at 155, it was going to take me a lot longer. That, right. you know, and I didn't even know how to cut weight. Right, right. And little did I know that it was going to be super easy, you know, from 165. <laughs> but um, I ended up fighting at 170 from my first five, six fights. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, and that was for MMA. Yeah, this MMA. Dude, nothing. Yeah, nothing would land in his face because he was so tall. Yeah, it would land like here. <laughs> you know, so I, that's where the calf kick started. Ah. like if you look at the video, you see me kicking under the knee. Right, right, right. I remember you were one of the originators. Of that. Yeah, yeah, the originator. Yeah, accidentally, it happened accidentally. It's not like I made it up. You know, it happened accidentally, but we noticed it and we improvised on it and we made it a, a marquee thing of the house. So anybody that wants to keep trying to take the the props for it, <laughs> nobody can prove video proof dating back to 2010. Nice. I've been doing and most of my fights and most of the people that train in MMA Masters, which was my first gym, they all used that kick. So yeah. since back then, so yeah. So y'all no, better stop coming at Bad Boon. You know, right? now, it's, that. now it's one of the most popular kicks in MMA, and yep. you know, it, it's yeah. you know very very you know useful. Hey, something a lot of people don't know too. Back in the day, he beat he beat George Mosby though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't like that loss. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, yeah. Like Not too many loss. people like losses, but you know, I mean, that's a, that's what it comes with the territory. Absolutely, man. It's part of the game. Yeah. You know, yeah. one thing I like about Baboon too is his entrance, bro. I wanted to, I, I did, when Mike told me yeah, Baboon was coming, I said, "Yo, I'm gonna ask something about the entrance, bro." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. How, how did you come up with that, or what? What you know, what I'm saying, what's the vibe behind that? Because that shit is. Ain't nobody doing it it's like It's pretty that. cool, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I think, man, it, it was, uh, I can't even take all the, all the credit. I think it's, it's a combination of my fiance and I. Both. That's, a, that's nice. a Japanese fighting mask, yeah, correct? Yeah, So, so my mm. fiance, how she hates how I say it. Full breed Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I breed bullies. So she's like, I'm not a dog. I'm like, Don't worry about it. You're full breed. You know, so she's full yeah. breed Japanese, right? And um, before I even met her, like in my Instagram, you look at my Instagram years ago, right? I've been with my girl for like three and a half years. Like 10 years back, you see my Instagram, you see in the bottom of it, it says Samurai Spirit. I've always thought about myself like that. Yeah. Know, like, absolutely. You know, you ever seen that movie, The that, the Last Samurai? Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love I loved the culture. Yeah, I love yeah, the culture, the sure, style, you sure. know? No, if you're a fighter, you got to love that culture. Yeah, yeah, you know? So now I'm with a Japanese woman, you know? <laughs> so it's just kind of like, <laughs> it magnified everything, you know? So I was like, oh. And then, you know, I thought about something, then she thought about something else, and then we started putting things together, and then boom. And you know what? Nice. It, it, to be honest, it, it kind of inspired from um, that new year. This oh. this idiot that I just left, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Because I I think that his walkout like uh, was pretty cool. Yeah, he comes yeah. out like Raiden with his like little Raiden, kid. That's you know? awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I used to support the guy, you know. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's yeah. cool, yeah. you know. And the guy got hard. He fights, you yeah, know. Absolutely. You know, it was a cool walkout, you know. So it's like, and and it's funny because we were already talking about what we were gonna walk out with. You know, so it started happening. Yeah, because you got the Komodo, the mask, the yeah. shoes, and the, the sword. Every, 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 we just keep adding. We just yeah, keep adding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I, I think that the, the walkouts is, is a show of its own and, you know, f- professional fighters, you know, yeah. us, you know, and it takes years to learn this, but professional fighters need to take responsibility and walk it themselves a little better, yeah. you know, and I think that the walkout is a good a good time to invest in yourself and invest in your ideas in in marketing yourself, you know, and like putting yourself out there. Like when I did MMA, I painted my hair red. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First started blonde, and then I painted I'm about red. to paint this shit right here. Red? Give me the A red. Yeah, I, was yeah. thinking, I was thinking like gold. <laughs> if I, I, I look weird right here, look, you got your red wings, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but the whole idea behind that was you know, like people would ask me, why you paint your hair, you know, blonde yeah. or red on it? Because you're going to go home, right? And you're going to end up remembering, man, but you see that knockout? Yeah. yeah. Like, who? The guy with the red hair. Yeah. 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 You yeah. know, yeah. So like, it's just so much easier to remember, you know? Absolutely. And it worked out for me then, you know, and now I don't want to paint my hair. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. whole. Nah, you up. Looking you good. done did the intros, bro. <laughs> yeah. But you was, the intros weren't looking like that before. No, man. But the no, hair no. was. So it was no, cool. But I think that the walkouts for fights, it should be a show of his own. Yeah. yeah. As long yeah. as it doesn't take too much time. You know, it's the regular timing coming in. Then, yeah. you know, make I a agree. show of his own. I agree. And, I, and, and for me, uh, like my walkout, 
Hey, hey, the music's big for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, pump yeah. me up, and I want to pump with the crowd too, you know. That yeah, was, that you, was you be doing biggest, that trick, daddy. That was the biggest hard hardest part for me was not being able to walk out to a song. Like I have a traditional walkout yeah. for most of my MMA fights. The way that I did it is this is a personal thing, right? Yeah. You know, there's something. There's a song that just sticks to you that you yeah. like yeah. before mm-hmm. you go train. Absolutely, it, it could be a new one that just came out. It could be an old one. Oh no, yeah. yeah, right. But it's a song that you 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 you're feeling it, right? Mm-hmm. So every time I feel something like that, if it, whether it was a new song or an old song, I'm feeling it, I will pick that song months from the fight. Yeah. So every time that I'm gonna arrive to a training session, I play that song. Yeah. Every time it's a traditional thing that I do, it's my yeah, thing, you yeah. know. So I play that song every time before training. All right, walk into that gym as with I'm that energy. Arriving, as I'm arriving, yeah. and I feel that and I remember. So then, when I play that same song to walk out to the fight, it's like a refreshment of everything I did, all the work I put in to get to that day. Nice, nice. Damn, so I, did I like that. that I did that right most there. of my, yeah. So it's kind of hard, like separating, you know, because I'm sponsored by uh, uh, what you call them. By Farouk's manager, you know what I mean? oh yeah, 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 carbon fiber, carbon, carbon fiber, fiber, yeah, carbon yeah, fiber. Yeah. you know. So then you know they're they're paying me to promote certain songs, right? So it's like now I'm not using the song that yeah. I know, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it's kind of yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so then it started changing everything. Like the first the first walkout in BKFC was like that with his song. Yeah, I remember song, huh? you put it me came out the day before. Song. Yeah. It came out the day before. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And and then after that is when we started bringing out the the yeah. whole samurai spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And the bam, boom, 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 boom. No, no. Hey, shout out to Farruko, man. Me and uh, Baboon were on his... Oh, man. I was there, too, man. I was there, too. Yeah, yeah. I almost <laughs> forgot. We were shooting. I got shot all the time. Shit, <laughs> shit got crazy. Hey, yeah, my dead. brother, so um, also something I want to mention is that that my man right here, you know, for, for the people who, who keep up with the fight game, he's fought Justin Gagey twice <laughs> and, and got fight of the month twice with Justin Gagey. Uh, fi- it was fight of the year for the organization. Wow. It was it was fight of the year almost all over the world until fucking Robbie Lawler and uh, what was his name that just fought against Nick Diaz. Um, yeah, Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and uh, the other dude, the Canadian dude. It was the bloody ass fight, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it, Mike? No. <laughs> oh, oh McDonald. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory, Rory, Rory. Rory, 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 Rory yeah, yeah, that fight yeah, was yeah. monstrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory McDonald. That fight was sick. That yeah. fight took it from. Shout the, out for, to those two champions. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. For fight of the fight of the year, they took it from us. Yeah, because it was so bloody. Bro. It was <laughs> nasty. But yeah, I fought, I fought Gagey. The first time, uh, a little bit underestimated him. Not even on that. I was, I was very overconfident in my MMA years. Overconfident. Mm-hmm. A little too much. Yeah. You know? And I didn't train as hard as I should have for that fight, cardio-wise. And he showed me that. You know, I was running on, on, on heart yeah. from after the first round. Like, <gasps> yeah. I was like, hold Damn. up. You know, yeah, I couldn't breathe. Yeah. Um, the second fight, fair and square, he, he caught me. You know, like, you don't repeat the same combination over and over again. Like, if you look at the video in the second fight, I took away his weapon, which was the low kick, which was my weapon. Yeah, but in, yeah, the, yeah, in, the, yeah. in the first fight, if you look, the very first fight, we both come in and we throw in a low kick at the same time. Oh, shit. But his chin bone hits me in the ankle. Oof. I have pictures and videos of my foot like this. Oof. I fought like that the entire fight. Damn. So it's like the very first kick is like, boom. Ah. Right on my ankle, his whole chin bone. Oh, shit. So that took <laughs> me out. So he, and he when he figured that, I wasn't throwing low kicks and he started throwing them and I couldn't check them because I couldn't put my weight on the back leg. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then he said, oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it he is. He found the way right there and he got me through there. So in the second fight, there was more movement. I, you know, I didn't fall for that. Right. You know, my ankle was good and I knocked him down. I caught him with a body shot. Yeah. And uh, there was like a hook after a knee to the body. And he dropped, and I missed him by like half an inch right? mm. from a hammer fist. You know, yeah. I, I didn't finish him. And then in the second round, that's when I got overconfident. Yeah, you guys, like, got, into a, you guys got into a fist. Into there was a, a trade. It was a trade. Right, yeah, 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 trade. Yeah, I did the same. Like I, if you look at it, I do the same combo. Yeah. And he doesn't even look. He goes this, throws an overhand, lands up top, takes my equilibrium. Yeah. I drop, and the moment that I drop, boop. Yeah. That was it. Stop the fight. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Because this is his city, his... Yeah, yeah. right. That's right. You went so to he he grew grew Arizona? Arizona. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's that's right. right. Yeah, Baboon been traveling the world. <laughs> hey, bro, Baboon was in Russia fighting Russians, bro. <laughs> hey, bro <laughs> let me rip yeah. on them, boys. Been, <laughs> been there and done that. That's why we got him on episode 50, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My brother, how, how did... Uh, so how did Bare Knuckle get introduced? So... Did BKFC step to you? 
Um, man, there was a lot of talks going on. Yeah. He, he, the same old Jim Anders was helping me get in okay. there. Okay, oh, it's because no, you wanted to leave already. Like Emma, you wanted to stop I, doing I MMA. I was done with MMA, yeah, man. Was done with I it. was done with MMA before that. I, I had been battling um, torn ligaments in the same knee. Oh shit! For years, you know, for like the last four or five years of fighting MMA, I was fighting with a uh, partial tear of MCL uh, and the same leg. I told that can't bend, so I can't. I can't. Like with boxing, don't, don't give away no secrets on here. No, I mean, <laughs> in MMA, in MMA, with, with boxing yeah. shoes, okay. you know, with wrestling shoes, I'm good. Okay, yeah. you take that off, and I'm like this. I'm, just, I can't bend my finger like this. Next time we spar, I'm gonna step on his toes. But oh man, when that happens, oh lord, yeah, and like in MMA, it yeah. would happen because you're wrestling. Yeah, yeah. So it was taking my ability to defend takedowns, to to do takedowns, and I love wrestling. I ended up enjoying wrestling more than MMA. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Shit, I love wrestling, but I couldn't do it. I'm gonna have this bad knee. It's only getting worse, you know. Then I tore the PCL, and that's a third degree, you know. Now they're talking about surgery, this and that. You're talking about fighting the Russians, fighting the Russians like like this, you know. Yeah. And fighting a Russian in Russia is a whole other animal. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a whole yeah, you yeah. already know that if you do not win. By knockout. By knockout or submission, you're not winning that right. fight. Right. Damn. It doesn't matter how, how it goes. Put it this way. I, I, I toured the PCL two weeks before the fight against um, Yusuf Reisov, which was the number one contender, undefeated, right? From Russia? Uh, from Russia. He was okay. the number one contender out of ACB. I don't know. Right now, I just picture, like, Rocky. It's Baboon and uh, Russo. No, I've been, I've been hurt too. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was big. He was a big dude. He, was a big yeah. dude. Like, he looked like... Two people, the the wins, and the next day you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit. You know? and, and it's they're funny, man, because I got there to Russia and they, they give me this the keys to this room, right? And when I get in, there's needles and 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 like IV things everywhere, and like huh? and I'm like, okay. And I come back downstairs, and I'm like, hey, you gave me the wrong key. They already had the key ready for me. Yeah. They're, right they're trying to get in your head. Oh you know? damn! They, this shit for them is normal. Yeah, I've heard it's, many stories about when you go overseas to go fight. Too, yeah, yeah. And like they were trying to get in my head. Like, why would you give me a room? That's been useful in needles and shit. Like yeah. you know, what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I heard they do that. The, they order food. They send you around food. They they order, they send women to your room. You know what I mean? All types what? of things that mess with your head. Yeah, yeah. Fuck with you, bro. Una rusa loco. I fought. I fought with, right. with a fresh torn ligament, uh, the PCO ligament, third degree tear. Two weeks before the fight, I took a cortisone shot. And I went and fought, and I lost the decision. You're not gonna win decisions. Right. You know? Yeah. And they gave me a 10k fight of the night bonus. Nice. You know, because we fought in front of the president, the Chechenian president, the Chechen Republic president. What? You fought in front of the Chechen president? Yeah, bro, it's his fucking organization. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. his building. Yeah. Nigga, that's huge, bro. That's yeah. Huge. <laughs> he was right there. He was right there. And he gave me a 10K bonus for fight of the night. And, 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 and Chechnya has a huge fight. You know, a huge right into Dagestan, all those guys. Bro, are you know what fighters. they gave Raceoff for beating Palomino? What? A brand new Mercedes Benz. Oh, man. Diablo. <laughs> man, did you write shotgun in that reason? <laughs> I was already in the plane going back. <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's awesome. So, so how do we get to to to, to bare knuckle then? So, to bare knuckle, yeah. uh, it surfaces for me right in Corona time. Right. So at this time, I I did a fight after the Russian fight. I did a fight in Chile. Yeah, and I also lost that one, and I didn't want to do it. It was like it just happened. You yeah. Know? And I was like, man, I'm not going to keep hurting my record like this. That's when I kind of retired mentally, but I never said it out loud to anybody. Right. And I needed to go to the gym, though. I was like, I'm kind of getting like in depression. I, I think yeah. your first, sorry to interrupt you. I think our first fight, we fought on the same card. You fought the Puerto Rican guy. Uh, uh, yeah, Bandido, we Bandido. debuted the same day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You, I, and... But three seconds ago? No, 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 no. That was the second oh, one. Oh, the we're, first... Okay, gotcha, I got gotcha, a story gotcha, about gotcha. that one, too, but we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, man. Um, uh, I was I was like in a depression time. Really? You know, I had just separated from the fiance. Um, my son had just gotten back with his mom. Like, what I mean by that is like, she would always just take him. Right. You yeah. Know? Uh, everything was just you know going downhill for me, and I was like, man, what the hell? And I said, you know what? I, I got to train though. It was the last time my remedy, you know, Absolutely. my therapy, you know. Absolutely. So I went and I spoke to Dino. You know, Fish Street Gym. Yeah, shout out to Coach Dino, man. Yes, sir. Love Dino. You know, ex- at this time, Tigre, Coach Tigre's gym. Shout out to Tigre. Had, yeah, Love yes, Tigre, too. Yeah. <laughs> he had just closed his gym. Tigre was in the process of moving to a new gym. Right. And I, like, I need a boxing gym, you know. 
I like I, I was pretty much done with MMA, so I was like, I need a boxing gym. You know what I mean? So I was thinking about doing boxing. So I started training to do boxing before the bare knuckle bare came knuckle, out. Yeah. You know? But we were training, and I trained like eight months looking for a pro fight. Oh no, shit, zero, bro, nothing, no fight. They said no, no problem no, over here. Nobody will say. Mm -mm. And I'm not gonna tell you that. Oh, they're scared of me. I'm not, bro. I don't. I don't do that cloud chasing yeah. crap talk. Where you know, like, yeah, look at me. I'm a badass. No, no, no. The truth of the matter is, I was 39 years old. So if you're like a 22 year old, right, and you're like 10 and 0, 15 and 0, which was the guys that were offering me, 10 and 0, 15 and 0, 22 and 0, 26 and 0. You know, like, yeah. I said, okay, you yes. don't got no, you don't got a boxing record, but you got a hell of a fight record. So, so yeah, they're, that they're was looking. so that was the thing. Yeah. So they would say, you know, this is a 39 year old old. Yeah, you experience, know, experience with zero fights in boxing. So what do I get from this? You know, and, and, then, he's, ta and he's taking a fight with, against a ten. Yeah. Like, and yeah. then they look at me in, in YouTube. You put my name, and then you see I got knockout power. They're like, oh, you know. Yeah. So they would say yes, and then they would call me within a day or two, and be like, oh, this day I just fell off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so when it comes down happen. to the business of fighting. It's a little, yeah. you know, it gets it gets weird. It gets like that. Yeah. So yeah. it didn't happen, and then uh, we kept pushing for bare knuckle. Like everybody was talking for me. Yeah. So I got to thank a lot of people for that. Dean from Island Fights was yeah, pushing for Dean me. Tool. Yeah, Shout out yeah to Dean, Dean Tool. Tool. Oh, yeah. Like everybody, everybody, everybody from their own corner were telling you know Dave Feldman, hey, look, you need to sign. That's the real deal. Oh, you yeah. know, he's the real one. You know, and finally he gave me that opportunity when we debuted. Right. You know? yep. And uh, I yep. trained. I was training, man. That was when the Corona hit, bro. Yeah. Man, how did you train for that? I was I was training inside indoors. No, 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 no. Because our first fight was in February. Right? Did you fight with me in February in, in, in Fort Lauderdale? That was my yeah, first fight. Fort Lauderdale, yeah. That was yeah, it was in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, that, well, that was right before Corona. Corona hit right there in March. Boom. And then Corona hit, and then we fought again in November. Corona hit the, the, the after, right? Right, right after, after. Right after. Right after. Yeah. Like two weeks after yeah, our that fight. that camp, I remember, I was indoors and yeah. suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we were indoors for that November uh, yeah. the November fight, and I remember, this is what I wanted, the story I wanted to say, I was... Uh, this was the night of the three second knockout. I was uh, we we're backstage warming up in the same you know in the same area, and uh, and I'm, I'm I could probably got two fights before me. And I remember you know Baboon came up to me. He's like, hey, you know you, you got two fights before. He goes, yeah. He goes, he goes, get the fuck up, start warming up, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, it, it was like the sense of fear came into me. You know what I mean? Because I knew he was right, and I was like eating shit. So I got up, started warming up, and, 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 and I, I came back five seconds later. <laughs> thank God, thank God, thank God, yeah, yeah. thank God, thank God, it worked out, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's always been. Uh, 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 I always tell him too, man. He's a great mentor for me in the fight game. Yeah. Um, uh, so one day we go running, right? And he tells me, uh, well, we're going to go run six miles. I never ran six miles <laughs> in my life, bro. Right? Uh, I run, you know, I, I run all the time, one, two miles, do sprints yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. but never ran six miles. <laughs> he taught me a trick with his massage gun. I massaged my legs, bro, because that's always been my big problem. Every and time right? I go to your house, I, I ran use. six miles with him, yeah. bro. Yeah. Thank you for that, you too. Did 10 miles the other day. Yeah, I did 10 yeah. miles the other day. Yeah. And y'all sparred together, too. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A, a ton of times. It's man. a vibe. He's, he's taught me a lot, man. It's been an honor to be in the ring with him. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Hell yeah, uh, man. My brother, so 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 Bare Knuckle came, and they gave you the opportunity. You won that fight. And then your second fight, they gave you a title shot, right? So, no, that's not the way it happened. So, okay. that's when pandemic hits, and they started the tournament. The right. tournament had already started. Right. And pandemic hit after that. Right. So I won the first fight. It was a decision, five rounds, untouched, right? Right. And then uh, pandemic hits. No, then they start the tournament. Right. And the tournament was going to be, you know, I was going to meet Jim Adams, which is an old training partner of mine. Right. So we said, you know, okay, we'll take the fight as long as you put us in the other, different brackets. You right. know, so if we meet each other, we'll meet each other at the end. Right. So I won one fight. He won one fight. And then uh, the next fight was one where the pandemic hit. And they had to change everything because the pandemic hit. So yeah. everything everything changed. So they wanted to say, you know what? Now you're fighting Jim Allers next. I said, okay. You know, and then Jim had a problem with that. I don't know. Everybody knows the story already. Of everything happened, you know? But um, hey, well, you told him you got that Toys R Us belt. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great line. I got it in the crib. I got it in the crib. <laughs> you see my son's room. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, man, uh, we did our we did our thing. You know, uh, the tournament got dismantled by Corona, and we went straight to the title fight. Right, but Jim didn't take it. He ended up pulling out because of his uh, coach had COVID and whatnot. And they ended up giving me Isaac Valley flag, which was the same record as Jim. He was 4 0 as well. And he had just came from beating, uh, what's his name? Melvin uh, Gillard. Melvin Gillard, I saw that fight, yeah. Which is a big name. Big name, you know. Yeah. I mean, shit, even before Gillard broke his hand in that fight, yeah. 
He was whooping Gallard. Yeah. He was, he was beating him. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, I saw he, was that yeah, he was beating every round. So I think he was very deserving, you know, and I found him, took the belt from him within 48, 48 yeah, seconds. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, and... Like, and where, was, where, where was that fight? That one was in Biloxi. In Biloxi, that's right. Yeah, yeah, because that's the card I didn't fight with you on. Yeah, that's yeah. the only card I didn't fight on with you. Yeah. And, and then... uh. So you know what? Something I wanted to ask you too. So it, it led up to that fight with with that that moved up in weight to fight you, and um, and 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 now you you fought him, you beat him to me fairly. I, I was there, I watched the fight, mm-hmm. and uh, and now he's screaming for. Uh, well, first he said you paid somebody a million dollars, and uh, um, and he's he's looking for a rematch. He's looking for a, a part two. Jesus Christ! I've never met a worse sore loser <laughs> and more excuses I've never I've never seen like if you look at this dude's page man it's ridiculous well, well the other day um, there was a post about Baboon and two other guys that are fighting to fight Baboon for the title right eventually and I on the post I put you know hashtag team Baboon and uh, I got <laughs> I got all the trolls from that side hitting me up. What? You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, cool. That's not even on the picture. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've never had a problem with that. I've always been, we've always been very respectful for each other. I, I agree with you. I think he's a great fighter. You know what I mean? Uh, but he does do his, he's heavy on the trolling. Today, I actually got a DM saying, uh, oh, this guy's talking shit about you. What? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, second about you now? I guess, yeah. That's what they said that. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't see it, but, uh, but yeah, you know, so so <laughs> it's too much talk, man. It's just a little too yeah. much, you know. It's like, yeah. it's like, like, bro, like you're I, talking about. You're, look, he was talking about me putting excuses because I was talking about I had COVID and whatnot, right? right? I'm like, bro, you're the one that declined a fight a week before the fight because you had a cold. He had some sort of a cold be- before this fight that you guys just yeah, bro. Brought, he was going to oh. be the coming event when I was the. Um, when I fought, when I fought Jim Matters, okay, he was a coming event. I was the main event. He was a coming event, something like that. He was a coming event. I think it was. He was there. He was in that card, and he pulled out of the fight. Oh, shit. I guess the number one contender. That was the first time he pulled out of that fight. Then he pulled out of that fight again when he was asking for a ridiculous amount of money. Oh yeah, know? I remember that. Yeah. So he like didn't want to fight the number one contender. Never defended his title at one thirty five. What gives him the right to fight for a hundred fifty five pound title? Yeah. If you're you're a champion in your own division that you never defended a title on, you're not even a champion. You know they say you're a champion when you defend your title successfully at right. least once. That's right. what they say. Right? And this dude grabbed the belt, and took off. Yeah. And now you're gonna award a guy another title shot. Nah, he ain't getting that. No, you know? so I'm, I'm like I'm the one taking all the risks over here. You know, yeah. Yeah. I came out of the hospital bed. You know, whether you want to say whatever you want to say, the paperwork is there. My oh. blood is right there with the dates and the doctor's name, you know, and like, yeah. and everything on there is, is states where the states. That was you your know? toughest battle of the day. It was huh? bad. Yeah, it no, was for really sure. bad. It was really bad, and I beat you at my worst. Yeah. This fight, you know, and I was trying to to talk about that after the fight. This fight wasn't about like me against him. I, if it would look, if it would have been another 155 pound contender, I'd have had more respect, and I wouldn't have taken the fight. Because I wasn't going to be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't have no strength. You know, like, I barely, like, the only fact that I got was conditioning. And that only landed two weeks before the fight. I actually saw you about two, three weeks before yeah, the fight. Yeah, for the video. Yeah, I was going to say that. We had a serious conversation. Yeah. And I told you, man, you know, <laughs> it's not about toughness. My brother, them, do you feel right to fight? He goes, yeah, you told me tomorrow I'm going to go spar. Depending on how I do tomorrow, I'm going to take the fight. And I called you and said, man, I did great. I'm taking the fight. Yeah. yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, you know, we're, we're, we're pushing for it. We're pushing for it. Yeah. But my my idea, my mentality towards the whole thing wasn't about that. That to me ain't shit. And he still ain't shit, you know. Yeah. I beat him at my worst, you know. So for him to complain and complain yeah. and put all the excuses he wants to put just shows how little he really is, you know, as a, as a person. Because, yeah. you know, you're putting all these excuses that you did this, that you did that. So now he's saying that the marks in his face are due to headbutts and elbows. Yeah. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> hey, you know, a, you know what? Hey, God bless you, uh, Dad. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that, no, that's no, enough for you. Nothing, nothing <laughs> but success to you in the future, my brother. No, yeah. And don't, and, and and don't blink. And my sponsor paid a million dollars to buy the judges 
That's what he said. <laughs> Yo, guess what? Guess what? I heard. Hey, but I, listen, I, why I, did your sponsor pay you a million dollars? Bro? <laughs> That's my point. I'm like, Yo, bro, but, but if I, my sponsor's gonna pay a million dollars for yeah, anything, yeah. give it to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I, I, heard, I, heard, I heard we paid thirty thousand just to get him here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sheba. Just don't blame podcast. You know. Hey, Sheba. Don't, don't be I'm saying not that. Don't, don't be saying that out loud. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, my brother. Um, so I, I, one thing I want to, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. How, how do you deal with that? Uh, I know you get a, a, a ton of trolls too, right? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, like and, that and let me tell you, uh, um, you know, I, I've been fighting not as long as him, obviously, but but once you get to BKFC, man, the trolls go through the roof. I had here, a control. Right? It's like a different thing. I had a couple of attacks. I had a couple of attacks, like yeah, yeah. troll teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. I had this other dude, this Bruce idiot dude. Yeah. He's quiet as hell now because he embarrassed himself. <laughs> After talking all this crap, he embarrassed himself in the square circle. And they're like an idiot, and now he's super quiet. Right, right, Boom, right, smash right. himself. I, I had one like that too. Got his jaw broken. They don't stop, man. Yeah. And then and then you got that. That has a, a good support team. Right, he does. He does, he does. There's all 30 of them. Yeah. All 30 of them. Right. That's it. It's 30 of them. There's yeah. 30 it's, trolls. It's, it's like 30 of them. Yeah. It's like 30 of them with, with fake accounts. Right. All right, so you were about to ask how I deal with people like that, right? right. Yeah. And before I, I used to kind of feed into it because right. before we we'll get a kick out of it, right. and I'll go back and forth and I'll talk shit, yeah. you know. So you're bored sometimes, you know. You talk mm-hmm. shit, but now it's like it's a waste of your time. Absolutely, it's and too energy much in, in your energy, you know, it's just not worth it. So, right. if you, I show you my phone right now, I have like, a block list, <laughs> man. I just uh, slide like yeah, this. Yeah. So all I do is see, like, in you know, for example, right, uh, a dat fan will come. And he'll say something like, oh, man, can't wait to see this fight. This is going to be a war, blah, blah, Okay, cool. I like that. Like, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you got another fan there. Yeah, yeah that's going to beat the shit out of your puss ass. And then they start talking to you like they would never talk to you in person. I absolutely <laughs> never. You know, so once you talk to me the way that you're never going to talk to me in person, uh, block, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, delete. Yeah, yeah. Now go and talk to the rest of the... Ten thousand people you have in your no in for your sure account. and Absolutely. and even and even it taking a little bit further than there because that really fucks with a nigga mind you know what I'm saying I, I mean, you, you only, the, in a moment like the consistency yeah. of of yeah, feeding yeah, that no, no it's yeah, like no, it's no need it's like we no. said no it's like we said earlier it's the energy like it 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 it, it, it messes with your mind because what it does is like are you start thinking about like. Is that? Well, I wish that guy was in the ring with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you forget about your it, opponent, it, which is way more it dangerous. Diverse your focus, yeah, man. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. It does. Right, right, right. Uh, my brother, I want to give a couple of quick shout outs real quick to Balanced Be- uh, Life Bento. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Is that he, has a, he has a, a meal plan that I was on. The food is amazing. Oh, he was talking about that <laughs> yeah. one at the Verugo thing. Yeah, Yo, what's yeah. up? I need to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think I think he's I think he's uh, you're limited at your, at, at, with your clients well, right so now. So we, we changed things around because my fiance was just yeah, it was cooking. Too much. Yeah. It was yeah, yeah, too yeah. much. You know, it, yeah. she was juggling. We, we, we got her a kitchen the size of this building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We were juggling between 45, 55 clients by herself. Man, that's a lot. Wow. Of work. Yeah. So we, we we were sponsoring fighters too. That's without counting the. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. I was fighters. one of them. <laughs> so it was like a lot of work for one person by herself, you know. So what we did was we had taken a break for a little while and we came back and we kind of restructured things and just picked up the quality. And and we say you know what we picked up the price you know yeah, of course yeah yeah you know, so quality or quantity absolutely know? no they killing it yeah. absolutely I'm, I'm listen good. I'm on the list I'm trying to get back in there <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Karen I see you Karen my sister <laughs> my brother and um. What do you got? Do you, do you know what do you have coming up in the near future, man? Are you signed right now to BKFC for a couple fights? Yes, I was multi fight uh, deal. I have my last fight coming up now. You got your last fight my coming last up fight on the deal? deal. Okay, yeah. all right. And uh, well, that depends on who wins. On the, and I saw the posters. I the, seen something like I two. find out just like you. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm the, the same Instagram way. Is the like like yeah. Instagram is the like, news. Just like you. Instagram is the news. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm finding one of these guys. Uh, I, I do the same thing when somebody like puts my name on a post and I tell them, like, oh, okay, cool. I gotta call my manager. Is this going down or? It hey, is one. this real? There's a, a Jessica six six fifty two just posted this. I just sent it to your DM. Is this real? <laughs> hey, so as of right now, that's what we're waiting for. Who, whatever, whoever wins from that, it looks like they're gonna get a title match. Yeah, uh, I mean, according I, to I the think it's Instagram a dude post, named Martin Lawrence and Bobby T. Ma- Martin Lawrence. Martin yeah. Lawrence from Bad Boys. I think it, it is Martin Lawrence. No, is it? Martin uh, Lawrence. Uh, Martin, uh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. I'm probably chopping up his name and, right now. And, and uh, I know it's Martin. Martin something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, and, and what's the other guy's name? Lawrence. What's the other guy's name? Bobby. 
Bobby Taylor. Valentino. Bobby, Bobby yeah. Valentino. Bobby Taylor's no. tough, tough, okay, d- okay. tough dude, man. Had tough dude with heavy hands. Yeah, I've seen him fight a couple yeah. times. He actually fought Bare Knuckle MMA on that Game Bread IFC thing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. How yeah, you yeah. do that? Uh, he actually did well. He fought my boy Charlie Decker, man. It was a, it was a good fight. Charlie ended up winning the fight, but it was uh, hell Charlie De- Deckler. No, uh, no, no, Charlie Decker. He, oh. Him and uh, I don't know if you've seen him. He's a, a young guy fighting. No, no, a lot no of you him. said Deckler. How the hell you no. fought Deckler? It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, my brother, a big part of this show that we bring up on every episode is aliens. Oh, <laughs> oh you know there's aliens out there in Peru. Uh, in, the sure. air, <laughs> in the air. In the air. Bro, right bro, for sure, dog. There's some crazy shit going on. There, there's some things on, in Peru people can't explain to this day, man. What's up, Evan? You got any stories? <laughs> yeah, <it's, it's laughs> nah, not personal. Nah. <laughs> you ever seen I'm some a, shit I'm in the big, air? I'm a big believer, though, man. Let me tell you, that's yeah. my next walkout to my fight. I'm going to pull up an F- uh, UFO. UFO? Yeah. Yeah. UFO, just walk around. Nigga, the roof. I just appear in the ring. It just takes your your opponent away <laughs> for sure my brother oh I forgot to give the other two shout outs man Fish Free Gym and Young Tigers Foundation yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, hell yeah uh, you know, amazing coaches amazing amazing gyms man you know uh, family and you know what I want to say right quick bro you know Baboon 5-0 Right in the five bare knuckle, oh. five and oh. Yes, five this and is oh. episode five oh. oh this is oh, episode damn, fifty. That. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, okay, damn. Damn. Come on damn. now. He's smart. See, don't let this be hey, freestyling, man. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. let this be a fool, you bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm smart, man. It's, it's gotta yeah. be freestyling. Look so, at that. What a coincidence. Yo, bad boom, episode fifty, man. It's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. It's been an amazing journey. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we started this in January, yep. you know, December, actually, 2020, yep. at yep. the end yep. of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, you guys took off with it, though, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just went, boom. He, yeah. Yuli came in with one word. What was the word? Consistency. And oh, we've been here yeah. ever our since. Fir- our first meeting, we sat down. We knew we were going to make it happen. We are going to do it together. And I said, man, the most important thing that, that I want, that I have to have with this, we all have to have, is consistency. Yeah. We can't miss a beat. Because in the world we live in today, you you, you you know, they see you, they're happy for you one second and, and they forget yeah. about you the next. So, yeah. and, it's it's, and it's a passion project too. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Most importantly, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody here, you know what I'm saying? Is all part of the team and we all growing and developing. Absolutely. And here we go. 5 with Mr. 5 That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go, <laughs> baby. Amazing to have him on, man. Shout out to Mike. He produced that. He, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he put that in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He made a Sancocho. Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> still, there, there's still listening to Double Champion in, in Bernaco, is there? A double right. champion? Uh, Two weight classes. No, right. Not that I know of, no. No, 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 no. no. You thinking about doing that? Ah, well, I've been asking for it. I know, I know, I know. I don't know what's well, the well, big deal with the 165 pound title, man. I know, I know, I know. We, Yo, we, okay. we actually had a conversation about that. I was like, yeah. bro, I'm the 175 er dog. Are you going to fight me? <laughs> 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 well, you know, that was a hell of a fight, man. Shout out to Tiago. I had a yeah. great fight with him. That's hell awesome. yeah. We're, we, as a matter of fact, me, Baboon, and Tiago were all backstage getting stitched up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For How real. Legendary is that, right? They were like, take the cameras down, turn yeah. the cameras down. I actually have a picture of it's 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 Tiago and Baboon taking a picture. I'm in the Back sitting on the chair, looking at him. It's all lumped up. My brother, so uh, what, what we could expect from you is uh, just, you know, future, we got one more fight left on the contract for we sure. One more fight left, yes. All right. And, uh, and it looks like it might be the winner of those two. Right, yeah. right, right. That's what it's looking at right now. And um, what, what else you got in the works, man? Any, you want to shout out some some uh, uh, sponsors? Oh, yeah, sponsors. Wanna, sh- hey, shout out to the yacht guy, man. We need a yacht guy on. Yes. Yes. Don't blink. Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. I've been Ralph. 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 International. Yeah, yeah. He's the man, man. He's Man, uh, F- we'll F- FYI, FYI, Florida Yachts International for your information. Yes, yes. So I'm about F- to shoot. A, I'm about to shoot a music video. What's yeah. up? We yeah. take it yeah. 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 Let's go. Gotta take it in the cigarette boat. <laughs> oh my god! So, you know, FYI is now part of the cigarette boat raising. Is it? Oh, yeah. amazing, man! Damn. That's great. That's, great. that's, that's awesome. Kinda like you know, they're working together now. That's awesome. That's dope. That's like awesome. A partner of Ralph's bot, the actual company. That's it, man. That's awesome. Shout so out to Ralph, have, man. Yeah, we have our Top Gun. FYI and uh, cigarette raising. Yeah, huge. So you saw all those logos on my walk. Huge. Out. That's huge. Let's bro. go. That, you know how much dope has been brought into Miami from all those boats right there? <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Toro Loco, too. Toro Loco. Toro Loco. Oh, okay, okay. Toro Loco. Toro Loco. Oh, my. Yo, Toro Loco. Loco. I, I've actually seen, uh, well, they've been sponsoring MMA guys or uh, fighters for, for a minute, but I've seen uh, they, they're they actually doing like a promotion or something now. I saw. I it, think they want to do their own MMA promotion or something. Yeah, an amateur yeah. show. I saw something, something like that, yeah. On With Toro Loco? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, the Churraqueria. Yeah, the Churraqueria. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that place. Yeah. I've been there. Aldo, Aldo, the owner, is very organized, very smart dude. Yeah. yeah. Very business. Uh, Shout out to him, man. Yeah, you know, if you need Don't Blink on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Aldo, what up? Un platico next episode? <laughs> 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 
Yo te pongo ahí. Eh, nah, legit, 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 some of the best red meat you taste, man. Yeah, yeah. I man. love high that place. Quality, my quality, parents yeah. love that place. My girl loves it. It's the best. They're serving dope. No, I'm talking about consistency. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I saw they got Wagyu on the menu now, boy. Yeah, they got Wagyu too. That's awesome. That's awesome. Out of control. The I'm mojito, not, I like the uh, mojito. Too. So, my brother, it's been uh, amazing having you on the show, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, we wish you nothing but success. Yes. Uh, you know, but you're a brother to me, man. I got nothing but love for you. It's amazing to see you win and doing what you're doing, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you know, you're a mentor for me in this fight game, man. And uh, thank you so much for being here with us today, hey, brother. brother. No, <laughs> hell yeah, man. And I must say too, man, when as I got into introduced to the fighting world, once I like came close, close with Yuli, and then. I remember the first time seeing him, and, was, and Mike was like, that's bad boom right there. First time, I'm like, huh? man, what, what's up with this nigga? <laughs> but the consistency of being together with him, I saw you then in the next event. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, cool, this is the nigga that be with you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know, I've been hearing about Baboon, man, yeah. since, since about like 2006 when I, you know, when I when I got out of prison myself and uh, fights were actually getting, you know, like fighting was getting big in Miami, the the, the Kimball things was happening on yeah. the internet, you know, and uh, and Baboon was around since then. You were actually, I think you were bouncing at clubs back then yeah, too. I used to see you. This nigga done it. Bouncing like in a Bounce house bounce or like bars or like strippers. Listen, chill out. He's about to get married. Don't talk about that. <laughs> She'll come with me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm talking She'll about. We go to the strip club earlier. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what, man? Shout out to Vince too, man. Yeah. Little Vince, my little dog, right there, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's uh, Baboon Junior, right there. Hell yeah! But he's also Junior. He's a grown ass man right now, already. Yeah, yeah. tired of me. And yeah. how's that? How's been that, man? You know what I'm saying? The family. You know what I'm Good, saying? And man. you're fighting yeah, and everything. It's been great, man. I can't. Can't complain, man. Yeah. And, you know, for, uh, apart from what I went through with this Corona crap, yeah, everything's then, easy after that. Everything, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, yeah. And your perception changes absolutely because it hit me pretty damn bad, you know. Yeah. And, and yeah. like I said, I like, oh, it's not like, oh, be careful with Corona. It's not. It's not that. Is that I was in my negligence. Yeah, it's yeah. My negligence. Yeah. You know, I wasn't. I didn't take action the way I should have. And my brother, it. listen. In my opinion, you're one of the toughest guys to walk this earth. Yeah. So for you to say, "Yo, that shit, that fucking oh, sucks," yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like he, this, guy, this yeah. guy's not a complainer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not for sure. Yeah. Five years yeah. without even catching the cold, man. That shit nearly killed me. Well, I mean, guys, yeah. I mean, I'm not a vaxxer or anti-vaxxer or that yeah. shit, but I got the vaccine. Take care of yourself out there. Do it, whatever. You hey, need that's, to do. This is what I say. You know, <laughs> when I was talking about that, people would be like, "Oh, they're paying you to say this. They're paying you to say that." Look, man. All bro, I, if they were paying you so much, bro, like, bro you wouldn't be fighting. Like, bro, go, go, Google me right now. Right. You, you see what comes out. Yeah, it, 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 looks, it says uh, my my worth is seven million dollars. Like, oh Ooh, yeah, fuck yeah. I, I, bro, I was gonna that's say hilarious. that. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's in the back of paper. Dog, Google listen, me and you'll listen, see. Hilarious. That the other day I um oh no because I I was actually on on Wiki and I saw you on Wiki and Tiago went on mm -hmm. both of you guys pages. And I saw at me because of Tiago's page. So I weeded me and I said that I'm worth 800000 bro. You like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, you listen mean. to me. I love Don't Blink. This is a passion project. But if I had eight hundred grand, bro, like, <laughs> I, I would maybe do this once a month, not once a week. You hear me? <laughs> no, what, this shit is what you worth, not what you have. Yeah, so, and, you know what I'm saying? Listen, hey, what, you, what, you rocking the road. What I, have, what I have in my life is priceless, bro. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. With the people that love me, with the people around me, with the, with the things I do, my life is priceless. Uh, you know what I mean? We all need money to survive and get by and, you know, pay your bills and all that yep. stuff. But uh, what I do for a living, man, what we do for a living, what we do, we don't have to be fighting. What we do, we yep. love what we do, man, and we don't work a day in our lives because of, of that. You know what yep. I mean? Yeah. I, exactly like we said at the beginning of the podcast, uh, I wake up every day with a smile on my face. Sometimes that, that smile is forced. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah, I don't want yeah. the people around me to, to, yeah. to, to know that I'm going through something in my own head. You know what I mean? And we all do. Um, but you know what? Fighting has saved my life. And fighting, I mean, not just fighting in the ring. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like shit. And I hit that gym, not wanting to. And I get out an hour, hour and a half later. I say, thank God I did that. Because that made my whole day. Yeah, you, know, you just fought You no. just fought through it. And you I made fought it happen. through it, yeah. You know you're like, bro, I get in there. You're dragging ass. You get in there. You know, once you get in there, you can't drag ass no more. Because there's That's people it. throwing punches. <laughs> so you gotta wake up. You get you get through, and you're like, man, this is amazing. Life is great. What was I crying about, bro? You know what I mean? Yeah. My brother, great to beautiful. have you on the show. That was a beautiful yeah. speech. That was, thank you. That thank you. That was that, that's right why I got to cut it now because it's so good. <laughs> hey, episode 5 0 with uh, Mr. 5 0 champ, yes. four time, eight time world champion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Undisputed uh, BKFC champion. Thank you so much for being on here, my thank brother. Thank you, man. Uh, message, message for Dave Feldman. <laughs> so you listen to the show I'm sure you I, I'll, I'll, before I'll, I'll, I'll send it to uh, Dave 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 uh, you know, I'm the company man man I'll fight anybody 
I don't say no to nobody. So I'll take care of this new two guys, whichever one wins. Yeah. I'll take care of them, take them out of the way. But we need the 165 pound belt, man. Okay. It needs to open up already. I okay. think there's enough heads in there. I think there's a lot more competition. And what better way to keep me active than defending two titles at the same time? Okay. Okay. I, okay. I, I the champ that, said. No, I love Let's that. Go. Hey, the champ has spoken, and uh, that would be the first uh, two division uh, world champion, man. And Hell I would love yeah. for it to be him, man. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, but, uh, you know what I want to know before we leave right now? We're about to leave in thirty seconds. You know, you're gonna put that belt on the line when we go downstairs for the don't blink competition. Because you know, daddy's in a belt. Hey, I put it on. What are you putting on the line? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what you put on the line? What we got? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that baby boy, a bicycle? Oh, I'll show you. Ba- oh, I saw it. You seen it? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just dope. Oh, oh, no, okay. That. okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 guys, thank you everybody for joining us, man. Hey, listen, we wouldn't be out, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you so much, man. Um, thank you, my brother, again thank for joining you, us. Thank you, man. And this Yuli. is episode and fifty. Thank you. thank you, bro. Thank you. Rock and roll. Thank you. Hey, thank you for being so consistent with me, bro. <laughs> and thank you for the team. Thank, thank you for Jaden, Jen, shot that mic, everybody. Episode fifty. That's it. Fifty, bro. Hey, yeah. don't blink. Bah. <laughs> oh, I think me and Two Nights got something great going on. We got some great guests coming up. It's gonna be dope. We got some dope people that, that already you know signed up to do it with us, which is great. A lot of people show us love, and uh, it's because we love them back for sure.